Hi, Cam family. Welcome back to Camp Summit at Home uh, with Nurse Lulu. So this week, um, we really want to celebrate and thank our veterans. Um, and today, to do that, we want to make coffee filter poppies. So to see step-by-step -step instructions um, for making these poppies, as well as how poppies became a symbol of remembrance um, and a symbol of Veterans Day. You can check out our um, extra supplemental information on our Camp Summit at Home webpage. Just click on through to the activity page and you'll be able to pull up all of that information. So for the activity, you'll need coffee filters, some red watercolor paint and paintbrush, or some red food coloring, a black pipe cleaner, a button, a hole punch, and some scissors. As always, be careful with scissors. Um, get help if you need it. Now I, because the pipe, because the coffee filters have to be dry, <laughs> have already colored my coffee filters and let them dry. Um, but your first step will be to either paint your coffee filter with your watercolor, your red watercolor paint, or to um, dye it. And it really shouldn't take too much food coloring because the coffee filter pulls it out pretty well. So do two coffee filters with red food coloring or red watercolor paint, and then let them dry. They need to be completely dry before you move forward in this process. So once they're totally dry, fold them into quarters. So fold them in half, and then fold them in half again. And then cut a heart shape on the outside. Don't cut up the center part, because that'll cut into pieces, but cut kind of the top part of the heart. And that'll make it look like flower petals once they're unfolded. Mine are a little bit uneven, but that's okay. Flower petals aren't perfectly even either. So, should look like a heart. And then open them up to halfway and use your hole punch to punch two holes um, toward the center of this. And you only need half of the hole, so don't reach really far over and punch an entire circle hole. Just barely put it on the edge of this fold and punch kind of half of the circle. You need two of those near one another. You want to have a little bit of space in between, but near one another. And then you'll unfold it. You can see the full holes there. You can see that it kind of looks like petals because we cut that heart shape. And you'll take your button. Bigger buttons are easier. I'm just gonna say that. And work your pipe cleaner up through one hole that you made, through one hole in the button, and get enough pipe cleaner through that you can twist it back around. You'll turn the pipe cleaner down, put it through a different hole in the button, and then push it through the other hole that you made with your hole punch. And then you can just twist that together, keep it together. Be careful as you're twisting, you wanna hold your button still so that it doesn't rip your your coffee filters, but it should look like that. And if you want, you can bend your pipe cleaner to make a leaf somewhere down lower, whatever you like. My favorite thing to do to, to decorate this though is to kind of fold up or squunch up and crinkle the leaves of my poppy and then unfold them and again, Gotta be dry for this to work well. 
unfold them and it gives them kind of that nice puckered flower look. So again, step-by-step -step instructions with pictures are online on the Camp Summit at Home webpage. As always, we would love to see um, pictures um, or hear about how you guys are doing with this, these projects. So you can leave us a comment or a picture or a video on the Camp Summit Facebook page or send it to camp at campsummittx.org. Remember to thank your veterans. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.